Joining us now in Studio B, a man we are very excited to have on the show, and a man that just got back from Lyon, France. <laughs> Perhaps you can correct well that said. pronunciation. Did I, did I do okay? <laughs> TJ Hawes. I've heard you called the Ginger Mamba, TJ. Can we call you the Ginger Mamba? If you'd like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's it like to be back? It's been two weeks to mm -hmm. the day, right? No, it feels really good to be back, be back with friends, family, get back going here uh, in Provo get working out a little bit, trying to get back into shape. It's been really good to be back. BYU basketball career beginning this fall. And, uh, you know, we have a ton of questions about that, obviously. But now that you've been back a couple of weeks, what's been the biggest transition for you from going from the missionary life just back into the normal swing of things, whether it's basketball or not? Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of I kind of knew what I was getting myself back into. Um, so it wasn't a, a huge transition. Uh, the roads here are really big. <laughs> it's, it's, I think you have to make like a five-point turn to make a U-turn over in France, and the roads here are, are ginormous, so that's been really weird. What was the first uh, first thing you ate? What's a movie you watched that you'd wanted to see? Uh, I saw Batman. Uh, I always loved Batman. And I think Versus Superman? No, or just just the old one. Just the old one. Okay. I, haven't, I haven't really seen too many new movies. Yeah. Um, and then Mom's Cooking. You have to have Mom's Cooking. <laughs> Absolutely. What did you want her to make? Uh, anything. Anything, really? <laughs> Mom's the best. Okay. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. I get Does anybody else think he sounds like Tyler Haas? Uh, yeah, when he came in, I was like, Tyler 2.0. Yeah, yeah, you sound <laughs> just like Tyler. It's great. Is that a good thing? Yeah, that's a good yes. thing. Yes. But there's only one Ginger Mamba, right? Okay, very good. TJ Haas with us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation. Now, we saw a picture on Instagram tweeted out so, or Instagrammed out by your brother Tyler that you were able to see him before you returned home. What was that like to see him? He's now playing in Europe, and, and you were still finishing up your mission. Really cool. Um, you know, I didn't think I'd be able to see him for, for a couple more months, um, and he was, he was off a couple of days, and so him and his wife came out to, to Lyon, and it was really special to see him. My, president, my mission president surprised me pretty good. Um, really cool to see him and see his wife, and he, he looks really happy. Yeah, he got married while you were gone. Well, he, he that's hard to miss that kind yeah. of stuff, right? No, that, that was hard, but I'm really happy for him. He's, he's really happy over in Spain right now, and him and Summer are doing really well, so I'm happy for him. A lot of people are excited about and, and have looked forward to this season, which is the first of three with you and obviously Nick and Eric and company, and, and the surrounding cast is pretty impressive too. What, what's it been like to try and focus on your missionary work, but now, okay, you can focus on this now, finally? Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's been good. Uh, to focus on, on missionary work is, is really important, uh, and I felt like I did that, and now it's time to focus on, on the next chapter. And I'm really excited for the guys I'm going to be pl playing with, some I've already played with, but the surrounding pieces are, are incredible, and we have a good team, and I'm excited for what we're going to do. With Nick in Germany and Eric Mika in Italy, and I'm speaking of Nick Emery. Eric comes home in two weeks, by the way. And uh, you in France. What, what was that dynamic like when you all were out on your missions and in Europe in a relatively close proximity? It, it was really fun um, because there's nothing like serving a mission. Uh, you learn lessons that you only can learn there on a mission. Um, so it was really cool to, to see us go from basketball to that next chapter um, serving people where we were serving. Um, and I think it brought us a little bit closer as well. You did not meet in Luxembourg to play basketball ever, <laughs> right? You did not meet in the middle? Not on the record. Okay. No. There were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the process like for you right now as you try and get back into shape? Because I know Chris Collinsworth came off his mission and had an injury and that kind of led to more injuries. And so then Tyler, Tyler w did it a certain way. Kyle Collinsworth did it a certain way. Is there a pattern there that you take? Um, you know, I, I kind of want to follow what my brother did, uh, just taking day by day and trying to get better each and every day, not trying to do too much um, because my body's not super ready for that quite yet, but just taking it day by day and getting better each day. Via your grandpa Ralph on Twitter. He's a Twitter superstar. <laughs> He's the, the Haas insider. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said your dad said after a shoot around with you, quote, you never lose your stroke in reference to you. How's your shot feeling right now? The shot still feels pretty good. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Says BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with Grandpa Ralph getting that out of the way, uh, what do you feel like you need to work on the most? Like, what's what's going to be the most difficult part about getting, you know, your A game back on the basketball floor? I think the biggest thing for me right now is getting in shape. Um, being able to get up and down the floor for 40 minutes is uh, it's more than high school. 
Um, so I need to be in better shape than I was in high school. Um, so that's that's my biggest focus right now is, is getting back into shape. How long before you actually play in a full court pickup game? Probably a few months. Mm -hmm. You know, stay off it for a few months and focus on my individual game and, and being able to get up and down the court before I start that. Is that hard? Because you want you come home and you you want to play basketball, but it's mm -hmm. more of an individual kind of thing, right? Yeah, it, it's a little bit hard, but I'm I'm still getting that satisfaction from shooting and getting up and down the court. So, so give us an idea. Like you, you shoot 100 free throws, or or what do you do? What what's the workout right now, and how do you how do you measure success? Uh, right now it's it's been it's been different. Uh, I've been shooting with my dad quite a bit, um, and we're working on, you know, shots from the inside, shots from outside, coming off screens. Uh, coming off screens, not with the ball, uh, all kinds of different things. So nothing really set yet, but we're trying to get back into it. How is old Marty's stroke? <laughs> it's still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> not, not as good as you and Tyler? Or how do we sit among the three of you in terms of stroke? Uh, well, we'd say I'm the best. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, you don't. Don't kid, I like We like to hear I that. I love the confidence. We like to hear that. <laughs> We know that you're a different player than your brother Tyler because we have seen you play in, in different styles. But for those that aren't familiar with what you bring to the basketball floor specifically, what kind of a player are you going to be for BYU? Um, I think I think I, I play a little bit more like my dad. My dad played at a really fast pace, um, and that's what I try and do. I try and play at a fast pace, and uh, I like the ball a little bit more in my hands, and Tyler's more coming off screens, uh, catch and shoot type of thing, and, and I like coming off screens with the ball. Um, and so we're, we're a little bit different. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Um, and I'm, I try right to do now. right now. <laughs> <laughs> six, six, four, six, five. What are you? I'm about six, four, six, four. Okay. Yeah. So you stayed the same height. Mm -hmm. your mission? A few well, people said I grew, but I okay. don't know. Weight. Did you lose weight? Gain weight on your mission? I gained about 15 pounds. Okay. You gained 15 pounds. Is that <laughs> a good thing? Yes, that's a good thing. Croissants and <laughs> other French food that oh, I yeah. don't can't think of off the top of my head. <laughs> the baguettes. And baguettes. baguettes. There you go. And yeah. cheese. Of course, the baguettes and cheese. I, I'm scared for Eric with pasta. Like, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see pasta. what that guy looks like. And, and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan like in terms of? What have you laid out in, in terms of a timetable? Like, because uh, I know in October you get going full speed, you start practice and whatnot in the fall. So what? What kind of goals have you laid out for yourself to get back into condition and, and ready to go? Right now I'm working with the trainer down here at BYU, Bob Medina. He's, he's really, really good. Um, and so kind of what I said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take it day by day. Um, and each day I'm trying to just do a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, so hopefully here in a couple months I'll, I'll be running up and down the floor, getting in some pickup games. Um, so that's kind of a timetable here in a few months. I want to be playing pickup games. Who is the update guy? for you like who told you how BYU was doing and how often was that uh my dad my dad was the update guy uh, and he was pretty good at it yeah he kept me up to speed pretty pretty dang good sportscaster Marty <laughs> <laughs> what what did you um what did you think of kind of the BYU season and what did you what have you talked with Nick Emery and other guys about mm -hmm. um I thought they had a really good season um we lost some games maybe we shouldn't have lost but we won some some really big games which shows that you know we can we can play against anyone we can beat those good teams it's just a matter of bringing it every day so we beat those those teams we should beat tyler um we we got to know tyler really well and we love tyler he's playing professionally in spain uh for those that didn't know what what's the difference off the court between you and tyler we've talked about on the court what about off um you know, Tyler's one of my best friends, uh, and we, we've grown really close. When he got home from his mission, uh, we were working out consistently together, and so that we grew a lot closer from that, um, and that was really good for both of us. And then when I went on my mission, he kind of he kind of knew what I was going through, and so he walked me through some things that, that really helped me a lot at the start of my mission, and he helped me continually as I had questions for him, uh, and that helped us grow a lot closer as well. Best friends, but competitors on the court, correct? Oh, yeah. Now, I know that when you beat him, you're not afraid to tell him that you beat him. <laughs> Is that, has that going to change, TJ? No. <laughs> no way. When we, were, when we were at the mission home, we were walking by, and there was a basketball court, and he was like, I'll take you right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm <laughs> and and you said, I'll take you in my suit, dude. Let's <laughs> yeah. go, man. How many discussions yeah. did you teach this week? <laughs> huh? Did you give a referral at dinner? Uh, <laughs> TJ, great to have you in studio, B. Welcome back. And uh, we need you to sign our Stretch Y BYU Sports Nation flag, as well as give you some BYU Sports Nation karma 
for the uh, off season to get back in shape. All right. All right. TJ Haas, everyone. Yeah,